this, please. Yep. On the, yeah, on the snippy bit. Nice. Yeah, perfect. Is that enough? That's like three or four inches? Um, yeah, that should be good. Oh, you're getting the whole thing. Oh, okay. Hmm. I did not snip. Yeah, it, I think maybe that this skeleton was a uh, bamboo that was being overgrown, and um, the the bamboo skeleton really destabilizes quickly. Yeah, I'll say. You want this in the forward box? Yeah, you can put it in. Um, will it be okay with a sea star? Give it yeah, a it'll snack. be fine with okay, the sea star. Okay, we can put it in bio box B, forward bio box B. Roger. Oh no. Oh no. Well, I'll save what I've got, which is somehow balanced on the arm. Um, yep, yeah, let's just keep that. Okay, open the box, please. Stop there. Nope. Oh, sorry. Oh. How is this balanced on here? Down clash for that. I think it's gonna fall backwards, yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Now what? Be quick. Oh, don't don't play with my heart like that. Oh goodness. Well cut our losses with this one first. Oh boy, this is tricky. Do you want me to move the box in? Uh, negative. All right. Oh. Okay. Just punch the camera here. Okay. Okay, box in. Okay. Yeah, that was zero nine two. Zero nine two. Did you see your scoop fall? Yep. Okay. Let's go find the scoop. On a rescue mission. While we are scoop hunting, Coralie, we are seeing these beautiful rock formations. On bubble points. Oh, yeah. Roger. Thanks. Uh, is this a basalt formation? Can I get front porch bubble? Yeah. Let's put the uh, jagged edges and the cracks. So it could be a couple different things. One is the way that the basalt deposited when the seamount was forming. Um, although that is there, we have seen that we are kind of crumbly substrate, which is a little bit different than other substrates we've seen from. Hey, uh, East back road. Do you want to get the rest of this coral? I think I found the. It, I think I found where I dropped it. Um, no, I don't think we need any more material. Okay. Uh, could we take a look at this yellow one, or do you want to? Yeah, that's fine. Take a look at this, and then I gotta tidy up a little bit. But hold on, Aaron. Yeah. So this might be a Canthogorge. It would be um, a, a deeper record than we know for this uh, genus. Okay. Go ahead. And we might want a sample of this as well. Oh man. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. We definitely want a sample of this. Okay. Well, I guess come wide then, please. 
And it's so big. Oh my goodness. Mm. Usually when we see them, they're small. Mm. How do I sample this? Um, this might be a snip and slurp option. I mean, like, how do I uh, get it? <laughs> could you put a toe in, like, on the opposite side of the rock? There doesn't seem to be much on. I'm thinking that, yeah, it might be cramped with the manip on that side. But we can give it a whirl. Actually, well, the East Coast comms team says hi. Wondering what animal we're looking at. Blindingly cozy. Well, let's try it. Yeah, that's a little too cozy. Okay, that is a large animal. Yes, it is. It is quite large. Can you repeat the name for us, Megan? This is a Acanthagorgia. And you want the yellow part, not the white fluffy part? Yeah, we want the yellow part. Mm. The white fluffy part is the zoanthid. Oh yeah. Um, we could do, we could get both if you want to get both, but definitely oh, want the yellow part. Yeah, this is fine. We'll make it work. Let's try this. Bonus How's points for go? any associates. NES chat, don't worry, we will get the scoop. Just getting this along the way. The scoop's on the porch. Oh, there you go. Alright, that will not be a slurp, that'll be a box. Yep, you can put Next that on top turn. of the other coral. Yeah, you can put that in bio box B. You got a little bonus, buddy. Or forward box. Hooray bonus! Beta. All right, box out, please. We still have all sorts of room on the other side, too, if we ever want it. Go ahead. I'm, uh, yeah, for things not so uh, fragile, because I'm worried the rocks in there might. You want me to open so we can put yeah, that in? There. Yeah, they might dunk things uh, up. I'll do this scoop. Just make a, a note that. We need to process that sample that first. Yep. Okay. Um, because the, it'll turn black. The so acanthagorgia? The acanthagorgia. It'll turn black? That was 0 yeah, 0.93? Yeah, it gets necrotic really 93. fast. Okay. So um, when we recover it, that needs to be the first thing that we take care of. Yeah. This is really in a not friendly manip zone. No, nope, don't you go back down there. No, nope. <laughs> come on. All right. Oh, thanks. That was an impressive sample, server. Okay, are we... Oh, I do want to stuff the thing in. You're right. You're right. Tell me when. Yeah, I'm going to get over there and then... Okay, just a little bump out. Uh, one more bump. Yeah, nice. Uh, stay there for a sec. Okay. See if I can get it. Hmm. No, don't go out more. That's the opposite effect. Huh. Silly Jack in the box. <laughs> oh, whoa, hey, watch out. 
Gotta be careful. Eh. All right, just try that. Beautiful. Nice. Okay, now what? What is next on this agenda? Hearing nothing, I'm gonna do whatever I want, which is explore this rock. Yes, let's, let's explore this. the rock. I like the rock. I was just typing. Totally, yeah. <laughs> And if I talk and type at the same time, I type whatever I said. <laughs> I wonder if there's anybody in the world that can do that. I bet there is, but it's not me. Well, can we look at um, this guy? Yeah. yeah, we can. What if you did the one up and closer? Oh, yeah, we can do that one. That one looks the same. Okay, zoom in there, please. Is that a Paragorgia? So this is, this oh, I think is a bamboo. What happened to me? Yeah, Sorry. bamboo. With all the polyps closed, that's why it looks so lumpy. Um, can you come down to Delta, please? If you think you can safely. You want more ship? Uh, sh well, it depends. How, how long do you want to stay here, Science? Um, well, I think we're doing good on time, so I'd like to characterize this rock a little bit okay, more. Okay, so let's do a ship move. All I don't right. know, 20 meters maybe? Yeah, towards you directly, like. Sure, what are we thinking? Slightly left of. Yeah, slightly, slightly north of west. Sure. See if we can plant Argus right on top of that rock. Yeah, we can try. In the meantime, I'm going to go back this way. Yeah. Um, good, that's good. If we go back, uh, Asako wanted a second look at that other yellow coral that was behind the one we sampled. Sure, yeah. Um, yeah, 15 meters, 305. Roger that. Bridge nav, can we get one five meters three zero five? This is gonna Correct. be a hard rock to annotate. <laughs> All right, so the yellow one behind this yellow one? Yeah, we wanna see if they're the same. They oh, I see it there, yeah. Yeah, they look the same. But this one here isn't as fluffy. Mm, and right. So maybe it's doing something with its polyps, or it might be different. And here's a little Corbitellini glass sponge, too. Okay, go ahead and zoom, please. Yeah, so, so the polyps are, are retracted, which is usually not what an acanthogorgia can do. So this might be a plexorid. One of the defining characters of acanth acanthogorgia is that it can't retract its polyps all the way. Um, and it has these scler because it has these sclerites that keep the polyps from retracting. And these polyps do seem to have, oh, look at that really cute associate. Nice little pink anemone. Mm -hmm. Asako and Connor are writing in the chat. Yep, she thinks it's a plexorid too. That's the same we just sampled? No, this is, I think it's different. Oh, cool. 
Do you want it sampled as well? Um, let's see. Do we want a sample? I think we might have already collected something like this on a previous dive. All right, let's sample it. Um, okay, come on, can we take a small snip and then slurp it this time? Yeah. Yeah. Let's see what I can do. I think we'll be able to land for this one, which gives okay. a little more dexterity. Now that we're looking at them side by side without like sort of it being in the distance, I think they do look pretty different. Why would I ever have said I could land here? <laughs> <laughs> the big uh, purple associate there. Yep, that we, we collected one of those purple crinoids um, on the last dive. They are Bridge family Xenometridae, genus Sathrometra. All right, Asako says she was looking at the imagery from uh, our second dive of this expedition, and this is definitely different. And we're still pretty deep for uh, seeing plexorids and acanthogorgids. So these are might be range extensions um, in depth for these uh, these two groups of corals. So that's really really exciting. from the chat while we're getting set up. So slurping this is going to be tricky because it's very branchy. It's not very linear, you know? So if you see a good spot to snip, I'm all ears. Uh, but just wanted to throw that out there. Yeah, like if any of these, like, end bits. Just a really tiny amount, eh? Yeah, we I'm don't thinking this one on the right side, just underneath the dead sponge. Okay, yeah, like right here. Yeah, I moved the camera on you, but yes. <laughs> I just, I wouldn't want to put it with the um, other yellow corals. Yeah, so totally. Because they would be, might be difficult to tell apart. Ah, stupid cord. Yeah, if you want to... Oop. 
So the one we're going for? Just yeah, right laser right now. try and keep you as stable as possible but it's not right. easy if you end up grabbing a larger piece um, we have another option Roger. Uh, to put it we'll try to not we'll see how it goes do you want to zoom in now yep. nice yeah perfect nice lovely job well done that's the perfect size oh, yeah all right come wide please yep i'll get out of there and then we'll Autos, then I'll line up your camera. Woo! Good job, that was, team. That was hairy. Okay, um, give you that one, and I'll give you this one. Uh, jar three is open. Jar three, Roger. Going for jar three. I think I'd go uh, other way first. I think we got, yeah, I think we got a short enough piece that it'll be okay. Ooh, maybe not. Maybe not. Hard to say. Hard to say. Yeah. Um, bring your elbow all the way down while keeping your shoulder up. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. And then you might need a little elbow up, but start with it there, and then it's going to be a lot of shoulder action. Do you want to zoom in to Trying to center that up for you in the camera there. That's all you get. Mm -hmm. Before you let it go, let's take a look at the coral itself, see if it'll fit. Yeah, Roger. I think it'll go this way, but I it's hard to say. Me, uh, I'm going to regret that decision, aren't I? <laughs> I think because we're mid-water, we have to take the gamble. I've got suction on. Nice, yeah, that was a little bit of it. Nice. I nope, it's in no, there. No, it went in. Got it. Well done. Okay, suction is secure. Awesome. And really I'm going nice to rotate job. the... All that right. was zero 094. I have zero one nine last four. request before we move on. There's this little yellow one over here. Can we look at that before we leave? All right, I'm going to ask you for that instructions on where that is again in a minute. Um, okay, you can flush the jars when your arm is stowed. Oh, wow, all right. Okay. 094, right? Oh, 094? Yeah, sorry, 094. Thank you. All right, front porch bubble, please. And then, uh, where would you like to zoom again? So it's this little oh, yeah. fuzzy one. We want to see if they're this, it's the, which one it is. Is it the, oh, is it the uh, first Canthagorgia yeah. one or this Plexor one that we just sampled? Roger. I think it's the Acanthagorgia. Just want to confirm. It's pretty fuzzy.
Okay, zoom in there, please. What do you think? Um, I just keep leaning closer and closer to the screen. I. Why don't I get closer with the vehicle? Though? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Charlie I think it's up. a yeah. it's the Canthagorgid, the fluffy one. All right, thanks for that view. Oh, you got it. And okay. all the samples, yeah, that's great. Okay, you want to keep classifying this rock now? Oh uh, yeah, let's keep going. Let's let's do it. Okay. Go ahead, yeah. That was great. So much good stuff. Overlay ready for Ooh, rock let's question? look at this one. After we talk about the skull. Okay, a little spongy. Yeah, that spongy sponge. We, we were distracted by so many corals. I feel like we got to get some sponges in. Okay, zoom in the sponge, please. This is a Walteria sponge. It's another type of glass sponge. Oh. And that is <laughs> in the family Euplectality. And looking at the dictyonal framework, so the way that the sponge comes together um, for the ID. Um, let's see. All right, come on, thanks. Yeah, this looks kind of sparse framework, very without like a lot of webbing in between. So, so that might be um, Walteria lucardi. Last time I saw one of those, it also had a bunch of uh, associates. It seemed like on the inside, like kind of interwoven. Oh yeah, like all the, uh, the the brittle stars will like weave their arms in amongst the sponge. Um, sometimes you see shrimp hanging out inside. I, I we once saw a uh, a sea star hanging out on it. Crinoids will attach themselves. So. Um, yeah, it looked like there were there were large gaps in that sort of framework that makes up the body of the sponge, which is why I was going with the uh, ID Walteria lucardi. That's what I've been seeing um, before. But then there's also Walteria flemingi, which has sort of a, a more regular uh, lattice-looking um, framework. There's a nice-looking sponge. That is a nice looking sponge. That's a Regadrella. You plectelid again, but um, it's a it? different it's genus. It's all good. That's the one that usually has the shrimps living in it. I wonder if we already looked at this exact one. We might have. Can we look at the um, bamboo behind it? I think it's a yeah. sparse brancher. I only see. Go ahead and zoom, please. A little bit. Off. Bit of current here. Cool. Just around the corner here. Oh yeah, so the branch is down here near the base. Oh yeah, look at that. Interesting. Then there's that Canadella gigantea. We've seen seeing some more of that Romilla Gorgia. Oh and look a nice little squat lobster. <laughs> Got his hands in the air like you just don't care. <laughs> it 
Coralie, um, this, these formations that we're seeing, um, the question is, Shrimp? do you think that we could, it would, be, it would possibly be an extrusion from a side vent rather than a flow oh, from cool. the top of the seamount? Cool. Could it be a what? Extrusion from a side vent rather than a flow from the top of the seamount, since it looks a little different than some of the ridges we've seen. Could be. Could be the way the crust forms. It's just comes out this way. But we don't really know because we can't see the basalt underneath it. If we were able to see the basalt, we might be able to tell if it was a different um, extrusion event than the main seamount. But since it's all encrusted. Take my wrap out here. Um, and this ferromanganese crust, it's a little bit harder to differentiate that. We will return to regularly scheduled programming in just a moment. Okay. We have butt cam. Woo! Do we have Muzak? Do, 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 do. Hey, look, nice little rock. Oh, wow. It's amazing. I love it every time I see it. <laughs> All right. This rock is where Look it's at that at. rock in between Herc and Argus right now. That's pretty neat and terrifying. <laughs> All right, Aaron, I kind of want to slide up this ridge here with some dark backlit stuff. So in a sec, you can do some magic zooming something. Yes, please. I thought you were talking to the other Aaron for a second. I was like, mm -hmm. yeah, let's stay on the ridge. Yeah, I, I wasn't sure. <laughs> <laughs> What do you want me to do about it? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, is this navigation? No, lighting. Okay, cool. Yeah. Look at how tucked in Herc is behind it. Ooh, that, that rock. sponge will look cool. Backlit. Let me have a. Oh, that backlit. sponge just glows. That's so, so cool. cool. Okay, as you see fit, do whatever video things you want to do. Uh, nice crinoid. No, Herc's totally hidden. There's a little black coral. Oh, mm. beautiful. Oh, yeah, good eye. Beautiful sponge. There's that regadella sponge. We've got a dead sponge stock with zoanthids on it. Oop, bunk. Can I get the port rail cam switched over to the other starboard cam? Oh, it's. Oh, the spidodiodema is Thank you. flying. Oh, pretty. Wow. Oh, that's a little sea urchin. Setting. Oh no, I'm just not going to deal with this. Yeah, that's a good call. So that one's called a spidodiadema. It's a type of sea urchin with really long, thin spines. Is that a swimmer? Huh? I don't know. It could just be a polychaete that we don't know. There's a paragorgia. So we actually have a hemicralium and a paragorgia side by side. Which one's which? Paragorgia's on the right. You got it. So this is a good example of the difference between yeah. paragorgia and hemicralium. We should have that last cruise. You can see uh, the ends of the branches of the paragorgia <laughs> look a little more lumpy, more bubblegum-like. They tend to have a darker color. The hemicorallium tend to be lighter in color. And then my little cheat is when you look at the base, um, the bases of the base. paragorgia tend to have a little bit of a yellow tint oh. to it. See this yellow tint? Nice. Yellow boots. Yeah. Cool. Now we know all the secrets. That's my secret. Yeah. yeah, and the hemicorallium looks more white. Yeah, totally. <laughs> that Argus rock is just incredible. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, 
And what's this one? Is that a encrusted? I don't know what you call it. Encrusted paragorgia? It is. So there's that yellow zoanthid on top, growing on top of this paragorgia. So the zoanthids are not just the little squishy things. They're also the whole like coating over the skeleton, right? Yeah. So they have that tissue that connects each one of the polyps. What do they get out of that tissue? Do they, they're they a colonial species, right? They, exactly. They share resources, or what do they do? Yep, they can share resources between polyps. Wild. It looks like that sponge, just a little bit lower down, was oh, a yeah. heterorete. Beautiful crinoid. How can you tell I like the colors more than anything else? Oh, yeah, yeah they're like, ooh, purple. Red. I like right. anything that looks iridescent, ooh, guy. glowy. Is that a barnacle? No, that was a cup coral right there. Is it a white one? Yep. No way. Little, little cup coral. Oh, yeah. These little sticky out bits. Cool. Little sticky out bits. It's a technical term. Technical term. Definitely. You can see the Europtychus and the branches of that Chrysogorgia pretty well. That's a squat lobster. Here's one of those Faria nearoka erecta. And it definitely has an associate. It looks like two Oof. shrimps hanging out in the Bonk. side there, maybe. That's As soon as I recover from this bonk, Aaron, you can zoom in more on those shrimps. Yep. Uh, okay. Let me know when you've recovered. That's all I got. That's I great. That's really cool. Looks like they're they're sitting uh, tail to tail. It's good guard all exits. Are they stuck in there forever? Oh no, they can get out. They got like little tubes, tube access. Oh my gosh! Cool. A little shrimp hamster tunnels. Yeah. <laughs> shrimp <laughs> tunnels. Shrimp hamster tunnels. We can call them the hamster shrimp from now on. Okay. <laughs> well done, Aaron. Good naming. I love this wall. I love it. I love it. I love it. It's so pretty. It's beautiful. Oh, look at that one. Yeah, well, I mean, anything. Maybe this sponge here. It's really, look at the sponge <laughs> in, the, in the distance there. Oh yeah, the big polyopagon. Yeah. Yeah. Checked that out earlier, I think. Yeah, we did. We actually right, have two different up. kinds of zoanthids on that one coral. There's sort of a lemon yellow one and a, a white one right here. Oh yeah. There might be some hamster sponges or hamster uh, shrimps I think in the sponge. Yeah. What's that little orange thing back there? Oh, this one? This is a little yeah. amphianth amphianthus anemone. Oh, it's so cute. There's a lot of little localized currents here. This one's. Pushing me down, in fact. That's probably why it's uh, such a nice coral community. Yeah, I guess these, so. these like, little turbulent currents going on. Yeah. 
You usually don't see communities this dense um, unless you, you've got a lot of food supply. Speaking of dense, look at this one coral that's like so thick. Yep. So this is a, a primnoid coral. This is a para, uh, paracalyptrophora. Is this really all one animal? It's all one animal. Yeah, like, you can check out the base. It's like all comes together in one. Wow. Not even at the base yet. Where is the base? It's hiding. Yeah. You see where all the branches, they're all coming together. All yeah, totally. One. It's crazy. It's like branching on branching. And all the polyps are really small, so that's how you know this is a paracalyptrophora. Oh, and look, there's a squat lobster. So that's that Munidopsis, the white squat lobster. I lost him. There's another one. Oh, yeah. Are these a different type of zoanthid? It is. It's a different type. So, so we're seeing like at least three types, maybe four, four types. Why is there less interest in the zoanthids than there are the corals? Um, well, zoanthids are um, cnidarians, and they're very coral-like, or corals. Um, it's I, I just don't think there's a lot of people studying them. And usually when we collect a coral, we will also collect zoanthids. So some of these animals have already been sampled with coral samples. Right, too. okay. So, you know, you kind of get a two-for-one deal. Which I'm all about. It requires a little extra work in a, in the lab to, to document associates, but that, it's totally worth it. That coral is amazing how thick it is and how yeah. big it is. Oh yeah, it's huge. We're full breaking. wide now. Alright. So you have a heads up? Oh, I like that sponge. We did look at that sponge. I like that one. The sides keep reminding me of like puzzle pieces. I know they're not flat, but you know, if you like just to look at them. Check out that. Yeah. I think that might be an embellopathies type uh, of black the coral. The stocked thing or the fluffy bottle brush looking thing? The stocked thing. Okay. Okay, zoom in there, please. Okay. Yep, so this is a black coral called Umbellopathies. It looks like it's missing uh, a branch. It's not in great condition. And while we're at it, there's a, a cute little coral behind here. Oh, not coral, sponge. It's a sponge. There's lots of corals, lots of sponges. <laughs> that could be an Atlanticella, possibly, but it looks a little crunchy, so it might be something like conolasma. It's a nice little double rack focus there. Squat lobster. Yep, we got a little Europtychus squat lobster. Maybe check out that coral. Yeah, the yellow and white one? Yeah, it's got yellow and white. Sure. Looks like another type of zoanthid. This is definitely a very zoanthidy area. I wonder if the rest of the dive is going to be like this. Yeah, we just focused on this one rock, <laughs> and that's going to just stay like this forever. Yeah, just like, oh, yeah, super dense the rest of the way up. Yeah, that'd be cool. It could happen. I would not complain about that at all.
Okay, zoom please. Alright, so we've got a bamboo coral. And that is the main host of all of these associates. So the yellow is a zoanthid. It's overgrowing on the bamboo coral. There's a little uh, pink anemone, amphianthus. Um, these sort of orange anemones are the same. And there might be a couple different kinds of the amphianthus. See some amphipods, some barnacles. The barnacles are in the family Ocelasmatinae. Looks like there's another, so there's a yellow zoanthid and then there's the white zoanthid in this coral. Then we have an Ophiacanthidae, that, that red um, brittle star. This is definitely one for the associates. Look at that. Is that a squat lobster There's back there? a little there? squat lobster. Oh, yeah. Oh, what's that? What is yeah. that? I don't know. I don't know if I'll be able to. Line might up be on a copepod. Oh, 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 oh. It's coming back. Come, back. come back. No, it's not coming back. Oh, it's not coming back. Totally yeah. gone. Oh, there, there it is. Oh, yeah, now it's gone. Yeah. I think it's a copepod. The way it moved made me think it's a copepod. I know what you're talking about. All right, I think <laughs> we can uh, we can start exploring some other other rocks. All right, sounds good. That was fun. That yeah, was that really was good. really fun. Well done, Trevor. Well done, everybody. Great job, team. Where even are we? Where even are we? I wonder if that's that little lumpus we see on multi-beam. No, maybe this? not. Oh, yeah, never mind. I think there's still more lumpy to it. Okay. Where are we going? What do, what have we been doing for the last <laughs> long time? <laughs> we were doing the best part of the job. I'll say. Holy. But we're gonna go back the way we were going so long ago. <laughs> zero seven five two okay. zero meters. You ready? I feel like I'm tearing you away. <laughs> What's that? You ready? I feel yeah. like I'm tearing, tearing you guys away. Okay. Bridge nav, two zero meters, zero seven five. Yeah, no, I think, I think this will keep going. <laughs> We're just going to keep seeing really dense communities the whole way up. At least that's what I'm, I'm hoping. I think of uh, all the seamounts we surveyed so far, this has definitely been the densest part we've seen. That that was crazy. 
The chat has been in silent awe. <laughs> nope, nope, and here we go again. Right. What is the base of coral made from, and does it get larger over time? Yes, it does get larger over time. Uh, what the base is made out of uh, depends on the coral. So for bamboo corals um, and pink corals, uh, their skeleton is, base is going to be made out of calcite. Um, for corals like black corals, it's going to be uh, protein material that they make their skeleton out of. So basically the base is made out of the skeletal material. Um, so it's going to grow over time as the coral gets bigger. So you'll notice that some of these like really large corals have um, wide bases and that helps keep them stable on rocks like this. Wait, is this a sea spider? Let's find out. My money's on shrimp, but we'll find out. I'll see who's right. I say shrimp, but I mean I not shrimp. I say sea spider. <laughs> I'm going with Megan. All right, can we zoom in, please? Holy good eye. It's a sea spider. These are so cool. They're so wild. Um, so this is a sea spider in the family Colosenidae. Um, this is Colosenidae. And sea spiders are pretty neat. Uh, they have the, all of like their body is like in their legs pretty much. Um, they have this long proboscis and they use that to feed on corals and anemones. And uh, right, they have I, some pseudo eyes. So um, if we get a different view on it, you might be able to see these like little, little eye patches. I love that term, pseudo eyes. Yeah, well, they're not like real eyes. They're not resolving an image, but they, they can detect presence and absence of light. This has been a fun, fun dive so far. Oh, yeah. That's Team cool. Blue Water is having an interesting watch. <laughs> All no, the Blue interest Water of the whole cruise in one <laughs> yep. shift. This is our our uh, our payback for all the, that Blue Water. Mm -hmm. You put in your time in the in the mid water, and you get some amazing benthic communities. Hey, look, a cool rock. Oh, look, another cool rock. See, whoever said that biologists don't appreciate geology is wrong. We're always like, ooh, look, look at all these animals on this rock. So great. Look Love at this it. cool rock that I can cool immediately rock. ignore and look at all the animals. <laughs> but without the rock, you wouldn't have the cool animals. Totally. Okay, let's do in the sponge base, please. Well, this sponge looks mostly dead. How can you tell the dead ones versus the ones that are just normally brown? Um. Well, so this one, you can see, like, it looks like mud is just attached to it. Uh, and normally the tree de pleura are like a bright white color, and this one looks really gross. Yuck. Uh, if you were to break it, um, you'll probably get a bunch of sediment just like coming off all over the place. It's just but, life left in the end. Yeah, right at the end. It's still like hanging on there. Oh, we've got somebody who was tuning in last night asking about the purple creature we sucked up. I think they're talking about the Yoda. Yeah, the Yoda. I got really excited when I saw the Yoda. I think uh, I had been speculating that we might see one uh, during our watch uh, when we saw that spoon worm, and I was like, well, we could also possibly see the arrow worms. I mean, you full-out sprinted 
back yep. up to the van. Yeah, I did. I was like, oh, we got to get that. Excited is an understatement. <laughs> we're so <laughs> impressed by how fast you got up. We're like, oh my gosh. Whoa, she's already You're like, you van. better go, otherwise they're not going to look at it any longer. I'm like, no. And then you were there. Like, I, there, was no, <laughs> there was no time in between those two statements. Were they <laughs> not going to sample it otherwise? I, I don't know if they would have sampled it. I'm pretty sure you just jumped over the stairs. You didn't even. <laughs> yeah, didn't no, even I, I teleported into the van. It's the only time I can teleport. <laughs> Some people really take cool stairs animals. two or three at a time. Megan took them all at a time. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a biology superhero. <laughs> Unveils her cape, her deep sea themed cape. <laughs> I would have a deep sea match her deep sea themed leggings. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Is it Friday? Somewhere. No, well, not today. But uh, I've got I've got my sort of deep sea themed leggings currently on. I've got they they got have angler fishes and squids. Wait a minute, it is Friday. It is Friday? Yeah, oh man. You're wearing oh. the wrong leggings. Oh crap. Well I mean there's This is there's why nobody knows what day it. it is. I thought it was Thursday. It's just really, really late <laughs> Thursday. 2,800. Uh, how long do sponges live? They live a long time. <laughs> oh, that's a Coralie level answer there. <laughs> yep. Uh, it depends on the sponge, just like any animal. Um, they live different lengths of time. It's really hard to date sponges, uh, so we don't know how long they actually live. But given some of the sizes of these animals, uh, they likely live hundreds of years uh, that's just uh, a guess based on we do on this one please the communities that we've been seeing so here's another regadrella this one's like a really fuzzy looking one very hairy so all those little little hairs are actually pieces of glass called spicules that, that would not feel out. nice to pick up nope. yeah no it would probably just like go right into your skin um, it looks soft, but it probably is not nearly as soft as it looks. <laughs> is it more like a uh, like a fibroblast feel, like when you get it on your skin? Yeah, that's yes. exactly what it feels like. I hate that. Then you can't see it. I to don't. Like pluck I don't it out. think there's anyone who likes that. It's just like it's like a splinter. You can see that. So even if you can't get it out, it, like you can see what's annoying you. But a fibroblast oh, yeah. splinter. The, the trick is, um, if, if you get duct tape, yeah. duct tape yeah, on your hand, that huge. helps pull some of those out that is a blue water life tip that we can actually <laughs> approve yeah, yeah, yeah. That was a good one. if you accidentally touch sponges you can use duct tape to help get the the sponge spicules out of your skin if you get fiberglass slippers out of your hand burn them out with a lighter no nope, no nope. <laughs> no we save we save our, our poor life advice for the uh, pm watch okay <laughs> sorry i missed that memo <laughs> Uh, ship life question, do we slide down the ladder stairs? Uh, no, yes. but sometimes yeah. Try not to. I feel like I'm being thrown down the ladder stairs because the ship is coming down from a big heave. Yeah, our ladders aren't quite nearly as vertical as might be in a submarine. So, so sliding is not advised. But it's very fun. That it oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. Mushroom, mushroom. I love this the anthemastis. Uh, I love the uh, the uh, golden and sure, red. Sure, there might be a bonk. I'm sorry. I'm going for the still versus the video on.